Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound MgOH2. Now, here's a little trick, guys. If you have a compound that has three or more different elements in it, you know you're working with at least one polyatomic ion. So I would always identify the polyatomic ion and then work from there. In this case, we do have the three different elements. We have Mg, which is magnesium, O for oxygen, and H for hydrogen. So let's identify the polyatomic ion. But the polyatomic ions are never going to be on the periodic table. Either your teacher or professor are going to give you those, but chances are probably not. You have to memorize them. So I wrote down the polyatomic that we're going to be using here. OH, whenever you see OH together, it's a polyatomic ion. OH always has a negative one charge. It gains one electron, and it's always called hydroxide. And here it is. Huh, here's the OH. There's my polyatomic ion. Now, the only other element I have to identify is magnesium. And if I look on the periodic table for magnesium, magnesium is right here. It's in group two. Group two are called alkaline earth metals, but they're all metals. So magnesium would be a metal. Now we have all the elements accounted for, so let's start naming. The metal name comes first, magnesium comes first, and that name always stays exactly the same. So that's pretty easy. So I'm going to start off with magnesium. Then comes up my polyatomic ion, OH. And polyatomic ions, those names stay the same. So that's pretty easy, but you just got to memorize them, right? So it's just going to stay hydroxide. OK. Now, since this is a ionic compound, right, I have a metal, right? So does magnesium need a Roman numeral? Well, magnesium is not in this box right here, right? It's not a transitional metal. So technically, I don't need a Roman numeral. Anything in group two does not need a Roman numeral. So we're done. So MgOH2 is just magnesium hydroxide. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helps. Let me know in the comments. All right, love talking to you guys, and I hope you guys are doing well. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And if you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. Thank you so much for that. I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.